Huh. I told those dogs the guys their mom were fat they ran off. What little bitches. I don't even know their mom. Oh, they took the bait. That was great. Anyway, I should probably finally go to the, uh, plot. I've been ignoring for so long, I think I should just do it. So let's go check out what's been going on in the theater square and get some information to talk about real estate. Hopefully for real this time. Wait, wait. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, everybody. It's Let's Play Yoxa Zero. Still blind. This is your host, the MJ406. And here we are dealing with... Wow, that is a big gang. What's going on? This is a rough looking crowd. <laughs> Oi! I'm so freaking stoked, man! A rare street show by the Yokomichi Silvers? Oh. Too right! Those guys are rock and roll gods! Look at this bitchin' crowd! They drew all these punks without any ads or nothing! Crazy kill the Yokomichi Silvers? Fucking rule! Gotta keep your pants on. Well, I heard the Yokomichi Silvers are gonna hold a QA page. Huh? No, then wait! Their face never saying a word like their music through the talking! I wonder what the hell they'll talk about! Sounds like some bad food to fed here. Must be probably the local punks. Mm. Okay. Is that. Face, uh... we'll see what his deal is. <sighs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at these people. Holy cow, what are we going Boy. to do? Hey, you! Yikes! <laughs> Gee whiz, pal! You nearly peed my. What are you doing shoving around behind me, you ugly gob? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, this guy. I thought I should apologize for get you early. Oi! Who? Oh, you're that man. No, I keep apologizing my own chaos. I mean, whatever. Piss uh, off. Oh, sure. Okay, this isn't even the main quest. This is this guy again. What? You lost my beautiful eyes? Oh. Wait a second. You must be unaware of who I am. Hmm? Are you asking me before we bumped into each other? If we did, I don't recognize you. Oh, wait a second then. So, you really don't know who I am? Willikers, what a relief! Mm. I'm sorry, I was rude not to introduce myself. Name's Kyo. My stage name is Crazy Kyo, and the vocalist in a band. Let me guess, Yokomichi Silvers. The same band those young punks that are excited to see? Are you guys some kind of legendary Yankee, Yankee band? Whatever the hell that is. Yes, that's us! We're doing a street show here later. Oh, sorry to bug you before your show. Good luck. Whoa! Where the hell do you think you're going, old man? Or wait, please, sir, don't go! Maybe, maybe you can save me. Save you? Oh, what, you scared of these people? Daddy. What? Are you even hardcore the slightest? No, as a joke, we tried dressing all punk in the show. We were talking about pretty bummer with the Yankee crowd. Now we have to keep up the charade full time. Over time, we gained a fan base of wannabe punks. The Okamichi Silvers became heroes of the rebellious youth of Japan. That whole style is called Yankee now. Huh. There's more running a band than I thought. So, what did you mean by me saving? I, uh, actually, I teach you how to be a hardcore hooligan. Hey. Teach you to be a Yankee? Yes. You see, for today's event, we also have to do a live panel. The meet and greet for the fans. Every member of the Okamichi Silvers, myself included, are law abiding choir boys. They're even shoplifted. If we are talking in front of a real Yankee, they'd realize that we're phonies. Big punks, eh? Now you mention it. The way you talk doesn't match how you dress at all. Right. If we spoke to our fans, we lose all our credibility and popularity in an instant. Or worse, when they want to revenge on us for fooling them. Okay. You have to do this panel thing. Why don't you just skip it? <laughs> I don't want to do it either. Our agency says we need to hold our speaking skills. We want to stay popular. They're making us do this. We're avoiding every situation where he might have to talk instead of just performing. How about now? Got it. So, you want me to teach you how to behave like a Yankee so you can you talk like one? But why me? Why? Well, that would be because for my idea of what a hooligan should be. That confident demeanor. Your razor sharp flair. The barbed wire adds that says, touch me and get cut. I would cut you. And yet, you also exude a sense of kindness. A guy who extends a healthy hand to the weak. A hooligan with a heart of gold. That's my ideal, Yonki. Well, girl, I am Yonki, so kind of, I was. <laughs> you can tease us so we won't blow our cover. More than that, I think you can give us Yonki wisdom that will propel Yokomichi Silvers to new heights of hooliganism. Please, if we lose this chance, the Yokomichi Silvers may have to break up. 
teach me how to carry myself like a true Yogi! Well, since I'm already here, I may as well. Okay, then. I'm not sure you're smoking me, but I'll try. <laughs> really? Thank you so very much! Oh, I'm so sorry I didn't catch your name! It's Kiryu. Okie dokie, Kiryu-san! Give me just a second, please! I'll go get the others! Oh boy. Maybe we should just fight. <laughs> sorry I keep you waiting, Kiryu-san! Oh, don't you look a little better than you do, to be honest. This is our drummer, Sleazy Tara Tarashi! <laughs> Hey there, I'm Tarashi. My stay name is Sleazy, but I have no experience with the ladies. Never even seen a boo. Okay. This is our face bad boy, Aku. I'm Aku. I'm his care for elders. This is Kiryu san, who's going to impart the ways of the true Yankee style hooganism onto us. Please teach us, Kiryu san! <sighs> you guys are so polite and proper. I don't know if there's anything I can do for you. Oh, no! Please don't say that! We're all pretty good guys at hearts! Please help us! In your case, being pretty good guys is the problem. But I did agree to this. So, somehow, we have to turn you guys into hard-edged fucks. <laughs> oh, yes! Please! How can I show you guys how to be tougher, though? Hmm. Well, maybe you can come up with an opening remark for a little old me? Your opening remark? Yes, I want to kick off our panel of authority! Being hooligans, we should have come across as weak or hesitant. Please, please, on. I need a zinger for opening line to set the tone. Hmm. Hello, but in English? Hmm. Maybe? We don't want that. Start your engines. Eh, probably that. Well, I'm with start your engines. Start your engines? Oh, like a racing uh, team. Right. Y'all keep moving as inspired by Western Greasers. They love their wheels. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> so true, it does go to the Yankee lifestyle. So, you follow something like you got my pistons pumping, don't you think? <laughs> that's good. I wouldn't to throw something like ram in an overdrive either. <laughs> right, right. I didn't know about that one. I'm so glad we got your advice, Kiyu san. Oh, oh, Kiyu san. Question. Mm -hmm. What is it? Well, the Indy told me to tell the fans about how I spend my days off. I'm not rehearsing or performing. Your days off, huh? Makes sense that fans want to know the, how their heroes live from day to day. Rashi, how do you spend a day off? Well, I make a habit of getting up bright and early so I can make some pancakes. <laughs> After breakfast, I take my darling puppy, Jimmy John, to the park for our big boy morning stroll. And then, we have lunch at Chic Cafe to rest our feet. Our way home, we do a little window shopping. After that, I bring on the drums. I've got on my VCR until it's bedtime. You just described a typical girl's day! Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that really made you sound like a fast rolling young woman. <laughs> I was so surprised I got a chance. I... I'm... So scared. Oh no, Kiyu-san. You shouldn't shout like that. You made Sleazy Tarashi cry. That's been much, don't you think? Oh dear. Should say sorry. Uh, yeah, my bad. Tarashi. It's... It's alright. I was just startled. I wasn't expecting it, is all. So, how about... About how I would spend my day off. Uh, yeah, right. One thing's clear. You can't tell the fans how you really spend your free time. No, I guess not. But then what would I say? What would I be doing instead? Fighting all rescuing puppies. <laughs> that is hardcore, man! Hanging with mates? Gotta make it sound badass. Well, your day's off. You spend your time fighting from dawn to dusk. But fighting? I don't really care, but who, who against fight? Yogi have sworn enemies or something? It's not about having enemies. Yogi are always ready and willing to fight. Two punks lock eyes, a fight is on. That's how it is on the mean streets of Kamarojo. Just so you know, fist fight is considered the most hardcore and cool. Keepers, what a brutal community. I can't take my dog out for a walk in that yeah. one zone. Hold on. The dogs that punks keep tend to be fiercely loyal and thirsty for blood. Oh, I'm trusty partners in a street <laughs> fight. Is that right? I can't figure my delicate Jimmy John engaging in a kerfuffle like that. <laughs> Boy, am I glad we can hit you up for advice, Kiyu san. You're a perfect hooligan role model. Kiyu san. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're a bad boy, Aku, right? What's the matter? Well, I say. Mm -hmm. Aku, you didn't get a topic like Taraji? Nope. He told him to wing it. He's really talking about whatever. You know, he's practically mute. Yeah, you know, I can even a backstory. Logs him with juvenile reformatories at birth. Bad boy Aku crushed packs of punks before he even finished preschool. 
Jersey's trying to fit a square peg in a brown hole. I was a man of a few words of crazy backstory. What should he talk about to make him sound hardcore? Or stay silent. Ooh. Huh. Try this. Don't you think it'd be better to stay quiet? Huh? See, that didn't pay What are these guys without any talking to me disaster? Yeah. Nope. Algo was told he's free to talk about whatever he wants. That means he's free to not talk at all. That's true, but... It would be worse if he were to say the wrong things and wreck his image. For Algo's backstory, I think he would seem more hardcore if he kept his mouth shut. Yeah. If you put it that way, it makes no sense. We won't do that. B Bad boy Aku stays speechless during his part. Sure. Aku, are you good with that? Gay. All right. Now we'll go over how you'll run this whole panel discussion. Yes, please! Well, I mean, that's easy. Yo, me, Silvers, we're almost ready for you. Uh, oh, is it time? Or I mean, fine. Yikes, sorry, I mean, you can come on when you're ready. I'll be wide around the audience. I didn't think it was going to be such a big thing. Yes, please watch this. We're going to hit this hardcore Yankee thing out of the park. <laughs> we're going to kick ass and scuff. Mm. All right, let's hope this goes well. Here they are. Put your hands together for Yokomichi Silvers. So they're going to play their music as well. Well, go for it. <laughs> Woo! Crazy Kyosan! Bad Boy Aku over here! Woo! Check out Crazy Kyosan's original ESP guitar! Spoken brand style! That man's got the Yankee Dale look deal! Wow, they are popular. But they're not talking. They do look like regular creasers. Simon went ro high rock and roll after school. Karashi Aku, hit it, boys! I gotta watch the music too. Or you skipping that part of this and they play their music. And this is for the Yokobichi Silvers. This is their song. I can see why Yankee kids across Japan look up to Crazy Kyo's band. I'm so glad we just skipped that so we didn't get copyrighted for it. <laughs> look at all this a thing with this music. Now, we like to do this with me and Green Panels because of the band members. Well, no way, no way. Crazy Kyo's not actually gonna talk to us. That's totally mental. I can't fucking wait to hear what Bad Boy Aku's voice. Here's where it's real. They better pull this off. Uh? Yo, Grease Hounds! We well, can beat you silvers! Start your engines! Yeah! Grease Kyosan! Pull your jets, bros! Or I gotta hit you! Kyosan, he knows the rev us up and kick us in the top gear! He's totally fucking ace! Thanks for coming, rocking out your teasers. We love you all, you romantic rebels, you punks, get my pistons puppet. Right here under the hood! I love you like my turbo drive. <laughs> Good. Fans are eating it up. Go with racing terms, paid off. Awesome. Thank you, Crazy Kyo-san. Next, we'd like to hear from Sleazy Tarashi and Bad Boy Akusan as well. First up, Sleazy Tarashi san. Here's a question we got from a fan. How do you spend your days off? Bruh, me? Why can't you always spend a fight mostly? Sleazy Tarashi san's a beast, man. Fights like exercise to him, too wicked for words. Oh, shit! I'm paying my ass to my Tarashi son! Do this once! So, you know, I allow nothing but go a bare knuckle on a crawl. If he ain't fist, he ain't a fight. Yeah! Good. Fancy beating it up. I knew spending all day fighting would grab up these punks. <laughs> hey, you see this, Tarashi son! Let's close it out. It's time for Bad Boy Aku to send a few words. I hope. Oh, this didn't work, did it? Let's see. That was it? No way, he just stood there for his whole panel. It's, it's, it's. Uh, yeah. Holy crap, that boy Aku's not the coolest. Well, he really doesn't play by the rules, I mean his own rules. That's what makes it bad boy Aku's out, he rules. Good, it was the right decision not to quiet Aku speak. After all, it doesn't take big talk to make a big man. An attitude speaks louder than words. I'm sure there are multiple situations would work, but well, I'll just accept that I did it right. Huh. I hope that, I hope, if I, it was only one way to do it right for everybody, I hope I did it perfectly. <laughs> Kiyosan, were you watching? Yeah, I saw everything. Good work. Kiyosan, we tried to apply what we learned from you about the ways of the Yankee to our panel. <laughs> Bear response is fabulous! I'm still in uh. shock! Yeah, seemed that way. You guys learned well. I'm proud of you all. 
Looks like Yogamichi Silver is a keep Chili up towards start up the speed of light! We owe you big time, Kiryu-san. A wild shirt. Oh, thanks. Raw, this is the most fun I've ever had speaking in public. Kiryu-san, thanks. Now on, we're going to keep working hard to expand on what you've taught us about the way of the Yonki. We'll work on our speaking skills as well. Keep an eye on us, Kiryu-san. The Yogamichi Silvers are kicking up another gear. Uh, yeah, you're your best shot. We will. Man, all I want to do is come here and talk about some real estate people, but I guess this is fun. People sure have all kinds of challenges to face. At least those guys are diligent. They should survive the rough road of the entertainment world somehow. Don't give up, Yokomichi Silvers. Well, here we go. That's another sub story knocked out. Looks like the earlier numbered ones are definitely a much bigger deal. It is what it is, though. All right, then. Now I got that knocked out. Damn, I didn't realize that was such a big thing. Oh, God. Guy Lee save first. Guy Lee save. Guy Lee save. I don't want to lose my money to him. What a pussy. Did he just call me a pussy? Oh, he's going to get it. All right, bitch, bring it. I think I can handle you for real this time. Hey, you. Damn it, not the guy I wanted to see. Go to here. I need cash where dreams come true. Holy, I'm not giving you money. Go ahead and try taking my force if you're evil. Go to see all the same pity. That was my plan. <laughs> Alright, then. Right. I gotta remember to hold RB to stay locked on to a guy. Whoa! Ah, shit! Ow! I gotta make sure I dodge perfectly. Ugh. I hate fighting this guy. Ugh, they blocked me off from leaving, too. It fucking sucks! Oh, come on! What are you, Shara? Bring it on! Ugh. That's a thing. It looks like I have to really take my time with this guy. Really try to make sure he can't do much to me. I gotta make sure I dodge every attack he has coming at me. Only go for one combo and back off. Yep, that's where I'm starting to get from him. Oh god, he's in rage mode though. I should probably back off now. Because if I attack him when he's at this state, I might fucking die. Easily. Just come on. I'm scared to attack him right now. I not want to get involved in case that happens and I get my ass killed! No! I want to time warp until I beat him if I even manage to do it, or he'll just banish one or the other. That's 20 million yen I've lost. Fuck that, man. I do not want to lose that much money on me. Damn it. I was scared I was going to run into him. I was hoping I'd be able to handle him better than that, but apparently not. God damn me and my lack of skill for dealing with that man. Ugh. I do need to go behind the theater district, though, to get to the uh, one guy. Well, actually, you know what? Since I'm already doing another side quest episode, it's basically the third one in a row. Guess I'll well knock out that other one. That's up this street, right? The, uh... The what's her face? The one girl? You need to do to help out Mina? Yeah, that way. Okay. Although, I probably should just surprise these guys, beat the fuck out of them. Hi! How's it going? Where are we going? You guys want to have some fun? Yes. Where are we going, gentlemen? Oh, me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. And stay down. Thanks for the free money. I need this extra cash, man. I'm not losing out all this. I just wanted to come down and have a good time. You guys got my way yet again. Every fucking time. It's people. Ah, that must be Sakichi or whatever her name is. It's a high school girl. Will this be Sachiko? The head of the Bureau of Sarah Ring? Sachiko, that's the name. Yes. Is something a matter? Shut down your Pure Sarah ring. 
Eh, let's say nothing for right now. Now that I got a better look, I don't think she matches the description I got from Nina. Nothing. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Oh, is that so? It happens. Hmm. It has to be her. Mm. Well, may as well figure it out. Let's try what? it. Hey, Sachiko, shut down your pure serum ring. Damn right. Oh, well, well, well. I wonder who put you up to this. <laughs> hey, so, you're Sachiko, the pure serum ring leader. Mm. I got the right one. Yes, I'm Sachiko. Is there a problem with that? Yeah, a big one. You're forcing girls to work in your pure serum ring. It's making some of them miserable. Miserable? They make a lot of money selling used clothing. Why would that make them miserable? Daddy. What? Because we're what we offer. We're not breaking any laws. Why shouldn't we do what we do? Well... Hmm. There we go. What if your parents were to find out about your prayer ceremony? Think of the pain they would feel. This is wrong. <laughs> Why are you so cruel to make my parents? Huh? Parents are long gone. I have no one who would be hurt if they knew what I do. So my fear of business doesn't present a problem for anyone. I, uh, I didn't know that. But, well. <laughs> Psych! Are you seriously that gullible? My parents are fine. Nanny. What? You can't even see through a line that far fetched. Good job getting schooled by a school kid, Big Mister Adult Man. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> health hazard. <laughs> Girls shouldn't be doing this. You need to act like ladies of sense of decorum, man. Oh, so what you're saying is it's fine for men to sell their underpants and women? Oh. Uh. That's pretty plain gender discrimination. It's the 80s, man. Time to stop thinking so old school. Oh, yeah, it's just said the 80s. <laughs> when you're doing selling your sex, you fool around the world adults. When kids play with fire, they're going to get burned. Oh, well, well. I haven't gotten burned yet. We'll see what happens when I do. What? Are you finished? I'm busy. We're up by. I'd like you to leave. She's not punching. I guess I'll let Mina know. I should just punch her out, though, to be honest. I'm busy. You're up by. You can leave. Damn it. Thanks for that. Oh, hello. Uh, May I help you? Hmm? Oh, shit. A customer just walked up. Okay. Sajgo chan. Oh, Sajgo chan. Your pays are so sweet, Sajgo chan. Oh, jeez. Hi, I'm glad to hear that. Did you come back for more? Sajgo chan, I love you. I had mm -hmm. a feeling this would happen. Huh? Sajgo chan, I love you. Sajgo chan, love, love, love. Sajgo chan, Sajgo chan, I love you. Sajgo chan, love. Sajgo chan, I love you. Sajgo chan, I really, really do. Uh, 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 you're freaking me out here. <laughs> Sajgo chan, I love you. Sajgo chan, let's spend our life together. Sajgo chan, I love you. I, I can't do that. Huh? Oh boy! <laughs> cool, you got a creep. I made all my mind. I already signed. I'm spending the rest of my life with your panties. Sides go, John, forever. You're really scaring me. I love you. Sides go, John. We'll be together forever. Sides go, John. No! Someone, please! I, I can't. That's what happens when you get in this business. This is the shit that'll happen to you. Yeah, enough of that. That's too much. The fuck you think you're doing? It's a high school girl. Ugh. It's all right. You're safe now. Uh, uh. Huh? Who the you? Yeah. What about me? Don't get my way. Sounds good, child. It's fine. Uh, menacing man. Really? Go after a high school girl. High school girl. At least you better taste dog. Yeah. With the knife too. There we go. He's a lot quicker than I was expecting. Fuck you. Ah. I know I can use weapons too, but I like fighting my fist for now. Damn right. How oh, dare you fucking fight me like that with a goddamn dagger, you piece of shit! It's always the creeps that ruin the fun times for everybody. Are you alright? I... I'm okay. I told you, right? You played with fire, and you got hurt. Why did you help me? What horrible things I said to you! I would never just stand around while a high school girl got assaulted in front of me. That's... I don't... 
Yeah, that's the kind of shit that happens when you decide to start getting into the sex business, whether it's selling underwear or selling your body. <laughs> so how'd you go, John? Mina? I'm sorry, but I can't do this anymore. I'm quitting your sorry group. I'm really sorry. Please, let her quit. I'm her boyfriend. Don't bully her for quitting your group. I hate to admit it, but you are totally right. The pure Sarah business is too risky a game for high schoolers to be playing. Damn right! I never thought about a girl like Mina being in danger for something I put together. I'm going to disband pure Sarah business right now. Oh, you are? Really? Yeah. Yes, really. I'm sorry for everything, Mina. Yes, yes! Not John, I don't have to sell my pants anymore! Awesome, Mina John. Thanks for being honest with me. Yeah, she actually went over the way to tell him. That was nice. Wise decision. You made their day, too. Thanks. I just don't ever want to be that frightened again. There's no need to thank <laughs> me. <laughs> Got it. Besides, <laughs> I think you should only show your underwear to someone you really care about. Oh, well, you're not wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'm not into high school girls' underwear. So, uh, please leave me out of it. Is there anybody else I have to find before I can do the thing with the the Tashibana real estate group? I don't know. I went to the theater place. I couldn't do anything there. What's up with this too? Damn right, we sell drugs. Bully is lower than low. Lay off. Good. I love going after the men in black. Where's Will Smith? Did you guys learn from him? I'd be very scared of fighting style. <laughs> Just tight punching your reward show? What kind of monster does that? It's an award show. There should be no violence there. It's the worst thing a human being could ever do. Why does it feel like you're parodying that a little bit? <laughs> there we go. Save the dude. Now give me a ruby plate so I can sell it for a lot of money if you don't mind. We'll do it again. Thank you. Please take this. Soften this light. That was a mind map. I probably should look at the gear. That's right. Model gun. They have things that infant durability or limited durability. The sunburst. The katana glows in the light as bright as the sun rising at dawn. God damn, I think it's good. Photon blade prototype. This blade emits a strange light. It seems to incorporate technology beyond your understanding. Make festival fan that can do gusts. And the master ball can knock out an average foe. That is something I do have to keep looking at. Oh, can I not put that on? Still have enduring? Oh, Okay. How's you find things more easily? Well, I guess I'll put it on since it's there. Yeah, I just want to remember to put on this gear and do stuff. That is very helpful. I do keep looking to see if there's people to talk to. Although I could always fight others just to get myself some more cash. God damn, I really gotta find out where I'm trying to go. Damn it. Yeah, lay off. I think I was going to let you get away with it. You're funny. Oh, God! For some reason, I thought you were dead already. There I go, an uppercut. That was fun. Oh, boy. Yeah, I should find Mr. Shakedown deal with him one more time before I end this off. I do have a lot of money, but I still don't have enough to get one of those 30 million upgrades. Eh. Not that it matters that much, but, you know. It's always nice to be on the right track. Ugh. I hate that I keep not being able to go progress the plot. Really? Right in front of the friggin' phone booth? Well, in that case, we'll end with this, see if I get lucky. I'll save this episode and prepare to end it here, just in case. But, well, let's see how you take it Mr. Shakedown one more time real quick. There he is. Come on. Come on, follow me. I want to battle right over here. I need to be in open spots for my playroom to move around. One thing I've learned, dodging is very essential. Yo, bitch, come on! Hey, you! God damn it, not again. I hate this guy. Come on, make the first move. He did. And I regret letting him do that. Ooh, there we go. That was a lot of damage. Oh. 
Gotta make sure I don't get caught off guard by any follow-ups. If I can tell those last attacks coming up, then I gotta fucking go in for it. I gotta make sure I don't do anything stupid! God damn it! Well, that was great. Oh man. Why I had to fight in the closed off space? I got greedy for punching him, that's what happened. In case you remind what happens when you lose to him, not you need it. Peter Tumlin, you get all your money smart I'll be big fair user anyhow. Oh, I 24 million yen, yeah, god damn it! This is peanuts. I need real money to get stronger. Looks like I'll keep doing this. No, hold on. Give me back my money. Damn, it's a real deal. I better stay on this way. I'm carrying lots of cash on me. Fucking dickhead. Ugh, I hate that guy. All right, well, either way, come back next time. All right, I promise this time I'm actually going to try to progress the plot. Three episodes of nothing but friggin' sub-story side quest stuff. I did a lot. It can't be that much more. So I'm going to explore most of the city at this point. I'm in real estate, ran off a cafe called Blend in Theater Alley. Across the mock pole. I should check it out. That's what I need to do. I need to go to Blend. Okay, so next time we got to go to Blend, which is somewhere near here. It's... Where is it, anyway? Around Theater Alley. Right. That's a thing. I gotta use these to friggin' figure it out. Ah, oh, it's somewhere around there, towards that same thing. Okay. Or phone booth, okay. Alright, so next time we'll make our way to that phone booth, and with that, we'll be able to finally make progress in the game, I imagine. Alright, so I just was going to the wrong place. And now I just lost my money over it. Fuck that guy, he's a real dick. I got a real estate right off a cafe called Planet Theater Out across the Bach Mall. I should check it out. We're gonna do it next time, okay? Stop telling me about it! I know I haven't been doing it, but I'm gonna do it next time, I promise!